Hello, this is Jose from City of Cars. Today I wanted to do that walk around video for you on that 2023 Dodge Challenger. So the first thing we're gonna do is just kind of walk around the entire vehicle. Let me kind of zoom out a little bit to get a better angle. But obviously with less than 200 miles, this is pretty much a brand new car, meaning that there is not much to apologize on this one. Um, the vehicle will come with two sets of keys. Go ahead and pop the trunk right now. Go ahead and take a peek in here. Looks like a little extra goodie here. You do get a car cover from courtesy of the previous owner. So that's already gonna be incorporated for you. You open this up right here. I guess that's where the battery is. Looks like that's usually your... Yep, your inflated kit. So like if you were get a flat tire, that is what they're doing nowadays. You get a run flat inflation system. That injects a little bit of a gel type substance to kind of get, make your tire a run flat. But other than that, pretty traditional. You do get a little safety cable here as you get stuck in the trunk. Let's close that right back up. Nice little scat pack insignia. But again, looking all the bumper, everything is pristine like a new car should. Coming over to the passenger side, we're going to start kind of looking at each one of the wheels. As you can see, they are all blacked out with the red calipers. Uh, these are on some Pirelli uh, P0 Neros. Um, obviously, pretty much brand new, considering, again, the car's got about 200 miles on it. Vehicle does come equipped with the blind spot monitoring system. Taking a peek at the passenger side here. Again, no scuffs, no nicks or anything like that. Gotta love those huge Brembo brakes. Definitely cool car to look at. Take a peek at the front end here. Gotta love that cursive challenger there. Obviously you got your intake portholes. Still haven't removed the yellow bumper covers. Uh, we will let you do that if you decide to. Driver's side now again, just to show you, no major scuffs on any of the rims themselves. I know it's a new car, but I like to go over it because you never know if somebody happened to go through a drive-thru and nick the wheel or something. And luckily that is not the case on this one. Taking a peek at the interior, again, absolutely gorgeous. I love the amount of space that you get in these Challengers. Those have an Alpine stereo system. Power ceiling column, automatic headlights, memory seating. It is a power adjustable seat. And I love this setup because you kind of get the nice, kind of like almost like an Alcaterra feel to it mixed with the leather. So it's absolutely super comfortable to be in. This one is equipped with the sunroof. Let's go ahead and climb on inside. It is a manual transmission, so we got to make sure that it is in neutral. And we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and first, let's take a peek. Looks like 181 miles currently in the odometer. Let's go ahead and hit the start button here, and we'll hear cold start. I'll turn the lights back on, that way you can see a little bit better. Does look like we got to put a little bit of gas on it, but rest assured, if you do buy this, we will make sure you get a full tank. I like pressing buttons, so let's go ahead and test the sunroof. That's all working properly. You do have garage door openers, so you don't have to have the little clip in your uh, windshield visor. And speaking of which, you do have a nice little retraction here to make sure you don't have any suns if you're driving alongside. Oh found the owner's previous registration but those lights do work uh, going into the controls here you do have heated ventilated seats as well as a heated steering wheel take a peek here it does have the factory installed navigation system so obviously you can connect it to a smartphone and use a, a apple car player or android auto but just in case you go to canada or another country or for some reason your phone dies you do have factory installed navigation in here uh, let's take a peek, obviously, launch control, driving modes, 
all that. So you do have the SRT8 performance pages, which if you're familiar with those, definitely some fun toys to play around with there. Looking inside the peak of the interior here, it does have the 392 badging on the passenger side air vent, which is kind of cool. Gotta love the six speed manual transmission. Not a lot of those made with this combination. Definitely gonna become a more rare option as we progress. Uh, doo -doo, let's see, we're gonna turn that on. We're gonna turn on the interior lights so you can see the interior a little bit better. I uh, love the fact that there's audio controls on the back of the steering wheel, making it very convenient. No paddle shifters, because again, you get a manual trans. Better, better bet there. Um, let's go ahead and while it's idling, let's go ahead and look at the back so you can hear the exhaust tone from the outside. time here before we smoke out the entire showroom so let's go ahead and pop the hood while we have the engine running as you can see pretty much a brand new car no aftermarket everything is factory you can see you still see the orange block gotta love that traditional styling powered by SRT8 Got a nice little badge here as well as the last call. I've got to get better at closing these hoods. Oh, there we go. And I want to kind of show you a nice little video inside here. That is really cool how they did that pattern with the Dodge Insignia. That is definitely cool. We got to clean that off. That's a little bit of dirt there. But you can see that is a beautiful design. Go ahead and shut it off before we get everybody in the back offices a little bit too dizzy. There we go. All of that exit animation. And fuel cap obviously here. peek inside the passenger side here. Sorry, a little finger in the way. But again, usually I try to go over any little scrape or scuff that are usually found on used cars, but this time I get to sell a new one. So not really a whole lot to apologize for. Uh, I can tell you there is no PPF. Uh, again, there's no dings or anything as of right now. Uh, but that would be one recommendation that I would personally do in the car would get, be get the front end PP'd up to avoid any little rock ships But with that being said, it's absolutely beautiful car and nothing to apologize for Taking a peek at the window sticker here You can see it, it's not completely uh, a base unit as it does have the plus package So that gives you the Alcatara and Apple seats uh, the power seats premium stitch uh, dash panel all the heated seats, blind spot monitoring systems, it's got the dynamics package, it's going to give you the bigger brakes, it's got the premium Alpine audio system, power sunroof. So all in all, this stickered out at $58,695, and I believe we're selling at a 50 which for 200 miles, I'd say that's a pretty good bang for the buck. Uh, hopefully this video helps. If you have any questions, obviously feel free to give me a call, and we'd love to earn your business.